Hi everyone, it's Dee from Quixby and thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about paper size matching errors. So you might get these on your actual computer. They might look something like this. Or you might get them on the Epson, which will look something like this. Here is a picture of my printer in the error message state. Paper size does not match your print settings. Confirm your current settings. If this is something that is happening to you and you don't know why it's happening, then you're going to like this video. And we're going to do two things. We're either going to fix it so that it doesn't appear, or I'm going to teach you the settings so that you can just ignore it, or in other words, bypass that message from popping up. On top of that, I'm going to go over some reasons why you should do that and, of course, why you should not. So in my case, I keep this error message on and I'm going to go over all the reasons why and that's coming up. If this sounds like something you're interested in learning, see you inside. Okay, so let's talk about why this happens. The reason why this happens is there are two places for you to set up how your sublimation print is going to come out of the Epson printer. You can set it up in your actual computer, whether you have a laptop, a tablet, a Mac, doesn't matter. You have print setting options in your actual computer. And then you also have all of those same options inside of your Epson printer in the actual physical printer on that little square um, LCD screen. You can click over to settings. I'm going to show you how to do all of that, but that is the second place where you have the exact same settings. Now, when something doesn't match, for instance, you tell your on your computer, you print and you say, print this on legal size paper but in the Epson, you're set up to print on letter size paper. That is when you will get that error that says the paper size does not match. And so it gives you an error message, which you can of course press and override, which if that's happening to you, that's probably what you're doing. You're probably just pressing continue printing anyway, but that is why it's happening. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to just go inside Microsoft Word for a second and I'm going to click print and I'm going to show you the print properties so that you can see uh, what it is that it looks like on my screen. Okay, here we go. And we see here the print preferences. When we get this little pop up, these are the two reasons why you are getting that error message. Number one, the document size or paper size is not the same as what is installed or set up on the Epson actual printer. Or number two, the paper type. These are the only two reasons. And you're going to see inside of the printer, when I go ahead and show you that demonstration on the actual printer, you're going to see the error message only relates to paper size, which are all of these options, or the error message relates to paper type. Okay, it can be one or it can be both. So this can be wrong, the, the document size, or the paper type can be wrong, or it can be both. Any of those three possibilities and you're gonna get that error message. So let's go over and just show you that error message on the actual computer and how it relates to document size selection or paper type. Okay, from the main menu, we're going to click on settings and then we're going to click over to printer setup. And we're going into paper source settings. And then we're going to click on paper setting. And do you see we have two options once we're in paper setting, paper size and paper type. Again, that's paper size and paper type. 
which is the same exact thing we just showed you inside of my document that could be causing this error. So the paper type, actually let's go back to um, paper size and I'll show you that this is capable of being set up to any one of these options. And it's all the same inside your actual computer. So for instance, when you click that you want to print on letter, but let's just say the Epson is print uh, set up and you have selected legal, that is one reason why you would get a mismatch error message. Okay, let's back out of that. The other reason is paper type. And when I click the OK button here, you're going to see that all of the same paper type options that you have to select on your computer are the same paper type options that are inside of this little LCD screen. And you have to select one when you set up this printer. So it's plain paper, it's an envelope, ultra glossy, premium glossy, glossy, presentation mat, and premium mat. So you can see these are all the options. So if you were to tell your computer that you wanted to print on presentation mat, but you set up the Epson to print on this premium semi-gloss, that's another reason why you're going to get that error message that there is a paper mismatch. All right, so that is why you're getting the error message. Now let's talk about how to fix it. So there are two different error messages and the good news is you can turn off both of them or you can just turn off one of them. Um, or you can correct the problem so they actually go away for the right reason, like because everything is actually matched properly. Um, but I'm going to show you both and let's get into that now. All right, guys, so to correct the issue, the correction must be done in the actual Epson printer. What you're gonna have to do is take your, like 99% of the time you probably print on one size and one style of paper. So we're gonna make sure that we set up the Epson EcoTank to have that be the primary setting, all right? In my case, 99% of the time when I print out a sublimation print, it's on letter paper and I want to print on presentation mat. So that is what I'm going to set up in my printer. If your settings are different, if the majority of the time you print on legal size paper and presentation mat, go ahead and make those selections, um, the ones that you choose inside of the printer. So let's go over to my printer and I'm going to show you how to do that from the start menu. So here we are at the settings icon and we're going to click OK. We're going to click the arrow button to get out of maintenance. And we're going to click Printer Setup. And then we're going to say OK to the paper source settings. And we are going to say OK to the paper setting. Now for paper size, like I said, I usually use letter, so I am going to tell this to always print in letter. And there it is. It's actually already selected. There we have it. And then for paper type, I normally always print in presentation mat, so I'm going to set up this printer as the default is presentation mat. And there it was already on it, so I'll just reselect it. But these are all of your options. And I'm going to select the presentation mat. Now I'm just going to go back, back out of this. 
Now what that means is my printer settings are now default letter size presentation mat, which is how I print most of my prints. And that message will be will not appear unless I tell my computer to print on legal or if I change it up and say I want to print um, on a plain piece of paper for some reason. Okay, I'm going to get the error message that way. Like if I do a nozzle print and I print on regular copy paper, um, that's okay. I'll just bypass that error message at the time. But this will fix 99% of that error message popping up because my selections are now proper. Okay guys, so now I'm going to teach you how to just turn that error message off completely. So whether you have mismatched paper on your computer and it isn't matched up to the selections you have made on the Epson, it's not going to matter because we are just going to turn the error messaging completely off. So when you click print, it's just going to print. Let's show you what that looks like. From the settings menu, we are going to click OK. We're going to get out of maintenance and head on over to printer setup. We're going to click OK. And we are going to click OK to the paper source settings. And then we're going to move on over to error notice. We're going to click OK. And you see there are two options for the error notice paper size notice, and it's currently on. I'm just going to go turn it off. Off, click OK. Then we are going to head on over to the paper type notice. We're going to click OK. We're going to see that the error messaging system is on, and we're just going to turn it off. And there we have it. We have turned off the error messaging and now we're just not going to get that mismatched paper anymore it doesn't mean it's going to print properly um, but you're just not going to get the message anymore and i'm just going to click the home button and go back to settings now let's talk about why you would not really want to do that just turning off the error message all right everybody let's talk about why we would turn off that error notice and why we would keep it on. Um, in my case, I keep it on. I do not turn that error message off. In fact, I already went and turned it back on. And that's because I have like six printers. I have several sublimation printers and I have two office printers. And I don't want to take the chance that I'm sending some big design to my office printer or vice versa, or I, you know, just forgot the size or forgot the paper and I don't to me it's not that big of a deal to just press the override button because I have been on the receiving end of trying frantically to stop like 10 prints from going to my office printer or documents printing from my sublimation printer. So all of my printers are set up to give me an error notice. Um, because it's more wasteful, it wastes way more paper and way more ink um, than it is inconvenient for me to go and press the button. If you have one printer that you're printing from, you don't even have an office printer, you have one printer on the network, and let's just say you have a stack of letter paper or legal paper, and you're always going to print in their on presentation mat and you're only going to print one size i can see why you would want that error message to just not even be a factor you don't want to see it you're never going to do anything different go ahead and turn it off um, but that is uh the only situation where i think it's probably worth turning it off i like to be like informed of any mistakes i might be making when i have several options of printers um, I just don't like the idea of wasting the ink and sending things off to the wrong printer. So that's it, everybody. I hope you found this video beneficial. I hope it's solving your mismatch paper size. Um, but anyway, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to the Quick Speed channel, and you will get notified whenever we upload a sublimation-related video. Take care, everybody. See you next time.
Bye.